Everybody wants their computers to boot fast, but it seems it's taking forever to boot, even if it takes only one minute. What's up, everybody? I'm Chris from OneCleaner.com. In this video, I will show you several most effective ways to improve the boot speed of your Windows computer. First things first, activate No GUI Boot. Right-click on Start and click Run. Then tap in MS Config and press Enter. Then click on the Boot tab and choose the No GUI Boot option. The No GUI Boot option disables the redo elements in the Windows boot sequence, thus saving you some boot time. Click OK. Then you will have to restart the computer to make the change take effect. Next, you should modify the boot priority. Make sure that your computer boots from the hard drive. Many BIOS configurations check your DVD drives or USB ports first to detect if you have plugged in any bootable utility by default. You can shave a few seconds of boot by selecting your system drive as first boot device. To enter the BIOS, you should follow the manufacturer's suggestions such as pressing function 1, function 2, or the delete key, etc. Now I will show you how to do it. So, I have entered the system BIOS screen of my laptop. Once in the BIOS setup, look for a boot menu and select it with your keyboard arrow keys. Then find an option called Boot Priority and change the first boot device to be the internal hard drive. All I gotta do is highlight it with arrow keys and move it up with function 5. Yours may be different, just follow the instructions on the screen. Changing this option will speed up the boot process, but it will also not allow the computer to boot from a USB drive or CD-ROM. Then press function 10 to save and exit. And then reboot the computer. Another way is to optimize your hard drive, which includes disk cleanup and disk defray. Performing regular hard drive maintenance on your computer can make your hard drive run at its optimal level. To do that, we will need a software called OneScare 365. Click System Cleaner, then just run Common Cleaner and Advanced Cleaner. It's only a matter of clicking Scan and Clean. After that, your hard drive will be free of junk files and boot faster. Next up, click System Tune-Up and choose Disk Defrag. Regular defragmenting your hard drive will improve read and write efficiency and therefore improve the speed of your system and boot. Just check all the partitions in your hard drive and click defragment. Simple like that. You have to know that solid state drives don't need to be defragmented. Next thing is disable those startup programs and services that are automatically loaded during Windows boot routine. Click Startup Manager. Enter Startup. You can see a wide variety of programs which will automatically attempt to load during boot up, depending on what you have installed. If there are a lot of items here, this will slow down the boot time for your Windows considerably. You can examine each of these items and disable any that are not necessary. Please make sure that you know what they do before disabling them. Enter Services tab are the services to fulfill various OS functions during boot. But how do you know which ones are necessary which ones are not? Just check the Suggestion and Reading column. For each of the Microsoft startup services, OneScare365 will give you a suggestion on whether you should keep or disable it. While for the third-party services, you can decide after checking its reading. The last one is Disable Drivers You Don't Need. Your computer loads a lot of drivers when it first starts up, some of which you may not even use. Right click on the start button and click device manager. And look for anything you aren't using. For example, I don't use any Bluetooth devices. I can right click Bluetooth adapter and click disable. Yes. Remember to only do this with things you don't actually use. After all these tweaks, you will see some improvement in your computer's boot speed. 
And of course, there are more ways that you can speed up the boot time. If you have any of your own favorite tricks, please share them with us in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.